April 24, the night before Anzac Day. Uh, an email, uh, speaking of what we've just been speaking about, really, Andrew. Gail says uh, from Mount Eliza, I just got back from my first ever trip to Japan and I can see why you love it so much. It's refreshing to visit a country that is very clean, safe, everything works, the people are beautiful and polite. Unfortunately, reality hits you when you come back to Australia where it all is the total opposite. It's such a shame as I think this country could have been just as good but has deteriorated in many ways lately and can never go back, sadly. Uh, a lot of people are feeling a bit, a bit too negative, but, you know. Um, well, I know J- J- Japan has got a very different uh, attitude towards the immigration than we zero do. Zero immigration. Just about zero. Just about zero. Japan for the Japanese. Yep. Uh, is that correct? That's true. Um, you know, it has created uh, some issues for them because they've got a very rapidly ageing population. But you certainly, when you go there, uh, you see none of the... Um, the social unrest that you see in in much of the rest of the world. Very few examples, if any, of Japanese of, um, of terrorism. Islamic terrorism. Very few. They had the, a couple of mad cults, but that was what in the seventies or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's that's really interesting, and I wonder whether you know people say, oh well, look, it's had slow um, growth rate, which is uh, what you know, slow economic. Um, growth. Yep. But then again, I think we need to have a new measure of growth and it has to be per head of population. We swell ours artificially by including, by, by bringing in between 170 and 300,000 at times immigrants. Well, of course, an economy is going to grow with all those new people, but are we per head of population any richer? And in the last five years or so, the answer is no. We have actually got uh, not either not richer or poorer. So would you stop migration, immigration completely? I, I think we need a whole new debate, and not on gross figures, but on per head of population, and then we need to figure out, and is it worth, A, you know, security concerns, um, the visuals, you know, you go up to the, the nice places around our big cities, are they too crowded now? Can you get to the beach? Are your trains too crowded? Or do you like the way we live now? Would you rather uh, sacrifice a little bit of the total growth uh, just in order to be able to just enjoy the country more or less environmentally as it is? I think that's the Dick Smith position, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I, th- I don't think well, we've Dick had Smith's a really honest people. debate on immigration in this country. We well, just haven't. Everyone's scared to. We're, and they're scared to because they'll be called racist. Well, yeah. there's a new nationalism around, and uh, I think the... Um, has been given a bit of license in part by the new terrorism 